Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 25, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We've made our way through the, um, that, that, that really, that, the sea something or other. <laughs> that was so last week. Uh, the, the, <laughs> sorry, short-term memory thing. We killed all the vampires. We got through Moo. Uh, that part will become important a little bit later, and now we're getting ready to go to the way station over at Angel Village, where we're told by the Angel Tribe, Travelers, please use this room. So, uh, let's meet up with everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Will, I want to talk to you about something. I'm green with envy. No, just green. It's hard to talk about. Well, uh, there's a certain company that, that's paying to be advertised on a lot of different podcasts that might be able to help you with that. Uh, but I seem to have fallen in love with Lily. I dream only of her. I want her to notice me. It's not like me, is it? Sure. I didn't think I'd ever hear you say anything like that. But you spent a lot of time together. It seems only natural. All right, if we're going to stop here and be honest, I, I kind of wish... This is one of those things that I, I, I really wish the game would have uh, either not put this in or shown a little more actual development. I think they've had all of like four lines of dialogue together, maybe. So, uh, well, and, and given the events, it, it is it is very possible that all this could have happened like off camera, like while you're away slaying monsters and, and solving puzzles and whatnot, um, we've been chatting. Like, I, a little more, even just a little more of that would have been better than just all of a sudden. Hey, buddy, I need to talk to you. I'm in love. And, and, anyway, all right, I'll stop. I'll, I'll instead sip some coffee and continue. But you spent a lot of time together. It's only, It seems only natural. Soon it will be Lily's 15th birthday. I want to give her a present and tell her how I feel. What would you give her? A bouquet of flowers, a pretty necklace, a sweet kiss. Let's go with a necklace. Of course, something she'd wear would be nice. When she sees it, she'll think of you. Of course. I'll find stones and make a necklace. Um, listen, buddy. I might want to give you some advice. They better be the sparkly kind of stones. Not like I scuffed around on the ground and found some kind of sort of prettyish stones. Just saying. Advice from a friend. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. It's good to have friends. All right. And we'll just... uh. Oh, hi, Lily. We were just talking about you, about four feet that way. Why do angels live in such a dark place? Feel so gloomy. Okay. The sun is really bright. I never noticed that before. Um... You're not... Never mind. Okay. Carrying along. I think the angels are descendants of the Moo people. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably a fair guess. Just saying. Uh, was it here? No. Um, our, our gem is located in another portion of the village. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. It's good. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to do something useful. Okay. 
moving right along. So we got a bunch of holes that have nothing. Oh, uh, that must be where the light's coming down in the uh, the thing below. Angel Village Entrance. All right. Um. So far, everybody, even the adults, have been about my height, and um, you're tall. <laughs> This is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. Well, that explains the darkness. Is there something on this piece of something on the wall? No? Okay. It's been said that we are the form into which humans evolve. Really? I think that's the first time we've heard mention of anything that could be like that. I don't know when we started living here. But when I look at the ocean, my heart aches. Well, that would imply that uh, Captain Obvious over there is correct, that you are most likely descendants of the Moo people. I don't know when you moved over here, but hey, why are you walking away? We have no emotions. I've neither laughed nor cried since the day I was born. I just survive. That's... something. Are you going to talk to me too? No? Okay. Let me get down here. Alright, um... we want to do anything over here yet? Sure. Let's try it out. Once a human woman named Kara came here. Ishtar praised her beauty. Then she went to his studio. I don't like where this is going. I'll show you the way to the studio. Remember it. Go with the wind. If you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. Down the dark street, through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the water is waterfall is loud. Ishtar Studios in front. Be careful. Mm-hmm. All right. This is Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. Okay, I already heard that. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so you get nothing new to say either. That's where I... Is that where I came through? I think that is where... I, yeah, that that's where I came through. All right. So now we're going to scooch, 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 scooch. Nope. What do we got in here? This is the Angel Village. If our... Oh, yeah. Seriously. There's our red jewel. I knew there was one on one of the... Oh! Oh my. I didn't realize we were that low on herbs. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I guess those last couple guys uh, took a little more out than uh, I realized. Alright, let's send that off to Gem. And that is the only gem that is down here. People here love to dance. I dance to remember what it feels like to be human, but, but what? The picture on that wall was painted by Ishtar, but the model in the painting was lost. That sounds like it could be a clue. We are expressionless, but Ishtar painted us with faces overflowing with human kindness. Wait, what was that other part? After that, people waiting to be painted flocked here. I used to dance with the person in that picture. Um, uh, used to? Do you guys know Freebird? No? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Alrighty. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. Sweet dreams are made of these. Oh, wait, no. I'm holding 24 of the red jewels for you. You've collected over 20 jewels. According to this list, your psycho power will be raised. It's a mysterious power given by the spirit. Your psycho dash power is increased. 
Da -da 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 -da. All right. What else we got in the inventory? Because let's see what's next. Ooh. Yeah, we are getting close. Um, so he said we were, what, 24, 24 gems in? So another six more gems, and we'll get the dark power. We will get at least three more tonight. Tonight is in the stream, not tonight as in this particular singular episode, if you're only watching on YouTube. So uh, if you want to know the future, watch live on Twitch. All right, so we should be able to get the dark power before uh, this streaming session is done. We're not going to get to the secrets yet. All right, I just wanted to see you. Yada, yada, yada. Famous master of disguise. Music is the best medicine for the soul. The right song will cure any disease. Oh, that could be useful. All right. And down here. Uh, da, da. Okay. I want to go this way first because... This way has one of the dark space gateways. And let's go ahead and save this game. Because it's been a while since we actually did like an actual in-game save game. We've done some of the save state stuff that B BNES allows us to do. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's do it right. Okay. So that is done. Now let's start time to start heading off to whatever is through that door. Cause that's where we came down. That's where we went through to the dark space gateway. Somebody's walking into the wall. Ah, I am a sculptor. I plan to make a thousand statues in my lifetime. Is it me or does it look like they're just like walking into the wall? Like, is this how you sculpt? Because it looks like this is how you sculpt. Okay. Uh, hmm. What's in here? She appears to be sleeping. It's like the spirit's drawn out. Oh, because she's standing in the light. How do, how do I... Ah, uh, I can't move her? That seems wrong. All right, there's nothing down there. Do you know the painter Ishtar? No, you should speak with everyone. All right, then I guess yes. Ishtar's studio is on the other side of the store, but in front, creatures with hate in their hearts are waiting. If you must go, you can open the door. Well, since it's the only place to go, I'm assuming I must go. Oh. Oh, yay. It's a dungeon again. Ah! Okay. Not too bad. That was easier than I expected. <laughs> Good thing we got that ability. Uh, oh, is that the door that I wanted? Yada, yada, yada. You know? Uh, oh, there it is. There's my spot. I lost my spot. Sorry about that. In the first room, three cave baths, the blue skeleton, yada yada. There's only one other doorway on the right. Is that really the only? That is really the only doorway. We got 11 guys that we need to uh, relieve of their life. So, take care of those guys first. Um. Oh, 
Okay, that is a dead end. This is a little more straightforward than I was expecting after some of the stuff we went through in the last go around. I should probably be doing the slide thingy. That. You gotta remember to hit the hit the right buttons in the right order. Well, that was easy. Alright. I mean, I guess since you stuck as Will, I'm kind of glad that they're not giving you uh, too much in the way of bad guys. Looks like, ooh, looks like there's only one more. I. Da -da 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 -da. Your strength has increased. Okay, good. That means I can hit him harder with my flute, which still seems utterly and completely bizarre to me, but whatever. There we go. Uh, oh, we got doors, y'all. Let's take care of these guys first. Oops. Okay, note to self. Stay away from the body after we kill him. Because he's going to explode... Patience. Patience. Alright, so something, something about the flames or following the wind or something. Alright. So that was where we came down. everything inside. I'd already done that. Second and third doors go to the same area, which we need to clear out if we want all the uh, fun stuffs. Yeah! What else we got down here? A couple more. A couple more. Um... A pair of cave bats. I thought there were supposed to be a couple of cave bats in here, no? Oh, just him. Okay. Here's where we find the pair of cave bats. Yeah! Oh. Well, that works. All right, we got seven more? Seven more. So far, so good. And then that goes back up there. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That, that would have taken you down to the bats. So that leaves... Yeah, we still got seven more of those guys. Okay, so we got those guys. Head to the right, skip the fourth door, and head down the last door. That's right. Because if you remember the hint, the hint that I will happily tell you about in the next episode. So for those of you watching live on Twitch, if this is your first time, all the live stream is me pre-recording the next six episodes of Games Revisited to post up on YouTube later. So if you're watching live, hang tight. I got five more to record, so there's still more to come. Whether you're watching live or later, there's a few different ways you can help out. Uh, follow on Twitch if you haven't already. That way you'll get notified when I go live and all that good fun stuff. Uh, I stream this every Tuesday, oh, every Tuesday, every Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I also stream CoffeeCraft, a Minecraft Let's Play server on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And... I may start doing the odd extra stream here and there as time allows. 
don't know how much that's going to happen, but if you follow along, you'll always know. And if you haven't already, head on over to the YouTube channel and subscribe there. That way, uh, on your subscriptions list, you'll get new episodes as they get uploaded, live stream archives, and various other bits and things. And, um, you know, do, do the whole bell thing if you want to get notified, and definitely give a thumbs up if you actually like the episode. That all helps the channel out. So if you would like to help, that is a nice, free, and easy way to help the channel. Uh, not free, but also helpful, is um, a way to support the show. Um, still got to work on that. <laughs> help, help me pay for transition lessons. Because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider going to live.anonjunior.com and giving a little bit of value back, even if it's just enough for a fresh cup of coffee, um, which I clearly need to be drinking a little bit more of. Because we're only one episode into a six-episode stream, and I'm a little punchy already. So, uh, live down on junior.com. That takes you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip, donate, however you want to think about it. And um, th there's no preset value. I leave that up to you. This is a value-for-value value thing. So, if you're getting value out of the show, it, it is one way to give a little bit of value back. So with all that said and done, live people, hang on. I'm going to throw up the end screen for a few seconds, so I'll have uh, editing mark for later. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>